question 166 the diagram given here is the standard ECG of a normal person the end of T wave represents end of ventricular systole beginning of ventricular systole depolarization of the atria atrial repolarization the question is what does the end of T wave represent that is this portion if we compare the cardiac events with the ECG with the standard ECG then the contraction of the ventricles start shortly after this Q and it marks the beginning of the ventricular systole. The T wave represents the repolarization that is the relaxation of ventricles. It means the end of T wave would mark the end of ventricular systole. Thus the end of T wave is representative of end of ventricular systole and P wave here represents depolarization that is contraction of atria. Thus the correct answer here would be option number one end of T wave represents end of ventricular systole option 2 beginning of the ventricular systole this begins just after Q and atrial repolarization and depolarization of the atria is marked by P wave the correct answer is option number 1 question number 167 select the incorrect statement efferent arteriole carries the blood away from the glomerulus towards renal vein pigeon lizard and cockroach are uricotelic animals distal convoluted tubule is incapable of reabsorbing bicarbonate ions renin does not favor the formation of large quantities of dilute urine statement one that efferent arteriole that efferent arteriole carries the blood away from the glomerulus this is a correct statement the afferent arteriole carries the blood towards the glomerulus Statement number two, pigeon, lizard and cockroach are uricotelic animals. This is also a true statement. The excretory waste of the given animals is uric acid. Statement three, distal convoluted tubule that is DCT is incapable of reabsorbing bicarbonate ions. This is an incorrect statement. DCT that is distal convoluted tubule is capable of reabsorption. Of bicarbonate ions the conditional reabsorption of sodium and water also takes place in DCT it's also involved in the selective secretion of hydrogen potassium etc to maintain the sodium potassium and pH in blood the statement 3 is an incorrect statement Statement 4, renin does not favor the formation of large quantities of dilute urine. This is a true statement, renin through RAS mechanism, that is renin angiotensin aldosterone system, helps to conserve water. Thus the statement 4 is correct because it does not favor the formation of dilute urine. The correct answer is option number 3. Question 168. Match the items given in column 1 with those in column 2 and select the correct option given below. Column 1 reads uremia, glycosuria, gout, ketonuria and column 2 reads presence of glucose in the urine, accumulation of uric acid in joints, presence of ketone bodies in urine, accumulation of urea in blood, amount of urine passed out is more and mass of crystallized salt within the kidney. The A of column 1 that is uremia means the accumulation of urea in blood. So this goes with option 4 that is accumulation of urea. A goes with 4. B glycosuria means presence of glucose in urine goes with 1. C gout means accumulation of uric acid in joints goes with 2. And D, ketonuria means presence of ketone bodies in the urine. Goes with option 3. Thus, among the given options, A goes with 4, B with 1, C with 2. The correct answer would be option number 1. The remaining option, that amount of urine passed out is more. This is termed as polyuria. 
and six mass of crystallized salts within the kidney this is seen in renal stones or renal calculi the correct answer is option number 1 question 169 which of the following pairs is incorrectly matched on the left hand side the joints are given and on the right side the articulating bones are presented we have to identify which one is a mismatch one ball and socket joint is a hip joint this is a correct match the hip joint is formed when the femur articulates with the cavity in the pelvic girdle that is aceta bullum so this is a correct match option 2 hinge joint between carpals and metacarpal of human thumb this is an incorrect match between carpal and metacarpal of human thumb exist saddle joint and not hinge joint the saddle joint is a joint in which one of the articulating bones has a saddle like depression in which the ball like or the convex head of the other articulating bone joints and this type of joint allows movement in many directions and saddle joint is found between carpal and metacarpal of human thumb option 3 pivot joint between atlas and axis this is a correct match the first and the second cervical vertebrae that is atlas and axis are joined together by a pivot joint and option 4 gliding joint is present between the carpals this is also a correct match the incorrect match is option 2 and hence our answer question 170 in human body which one of the following is anatomically correct the facial region is made up of 14 skeletal elements a single s-shaped hyoid bone is present at the base of the buccal cavity two occipital condyles are present on first vertebra ribs are connected to the sternum with the help of white fibrocartilage we have to find out which among the following is a correct statement statement 1 the facial region is made up of 14 skeletal elements this is a true statement the number of bones in the facial region is 14 so this is a correct statement option 2 a single s-shaped hyoid bone is present at the base of the buccal cavity yes hyoid bone is present at the base of the buccal cavity this is true but it is not s-shaped it is u-shaped thus option 2 is incorrect statement 3 that two occipital condyles are present on the first vertebra this is incorrect the two occipital condyles are present on the occipital bone of the skull and the skull articulates with the superior region of the vertebral column with the help of these condyles which are two in number and thus human skull is termed as dicondylic option 3 is also incorrect 4 ribs are connected to the sternum with the help of white fibrocartilage this is also an incorrect statement the ribs the true ribs which connect to the sternum are connected with the help of hyaline cartilage the correct answer here is option number one